Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 is the phone number for the best prices anywhere in the New York City tri-state area when it comes to winter and snow removal products, rock salt, uh, mag, ice pellets, and flakes, pellido, uh, you name it, they got it there. Uh, so give them a call, 631-756-1125, and the website is omnitruevalue.com. Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, may, uh, may, meeting all your decorating needs as we finish off the sprint of Christmas. If you're this is your business and you need... Uh, stock, garland, wreaths, uh, Santa Clauses, uh, elves, uh, they've got plenty, so uh, get in touch with them. They're at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York, 631-957-5106 is the phone number, and the website is liholidaylighting.com. I'm going to explain the bathrobe in, in, in a few minutes, but in the meantime, uh, we are in a uh, we're gonna, we're going to cold pattern this week uh, for now anyway, and it's a fast moving pattern. If you look uh, across uh, the United States, across the northern tier, you see that there are a couple of weather systems. There's one offshore of New England uh, that went through the northeast yesterday and last night. There's another one that's moving through the northeast this afternoon. Uh, then there's a bit of a break, and then there's another one in the Western Lakes, and then another break, and then another one on up into the Pacific Northwest and Northern Rockies. So these weather systems are moving along. Uh, they're uh, not really warming things up much ahead of it. Uh, they are chilling things down behind it, but nothing excessive. And these storms are basically on the weak side. So we're not really getting a whole lot of precip out of this. Meanwhile, as we check out the radars at the moment, uh, we're looking at some light snow and rain shower activity popping up on the radar in and around New York City as of one o'clock this afternoon and also in southeastern New England. Also a few patches in upstate New York in the Catskills and seeing a little patch there coming across uh, the Great Lakes and over into eastern Maine. Meanwhile, here comes the next one uh, with uh, a little bit of snow there in parts of Wisconsin and across Lake Michigan into the western part of the lower peninsula of Michigan. And then here's another system, as we mentioned, up in the northern Rockies uh, that'll be coming here uh, later on this week. So you get the idea here, folks. We're not going to see anything radical this week. Overall, it's quiet. Overall, it's chilly. The one day that I think it warms up nicely will be Thursday when temperatures will reach up uh, into the low and mid 50s. And as far as precipitation is concerned, and this takes us through next Monday. So you can see, really, it's not a whole lot. Uh, we're uh, looking at a quarter to a tenth of an inch or less in the northeast of mid-Atlantic states along the coastal plain, and then no precip from southern Virginia down into Florida. No precip for the next week. Uh, the Ohio and Tennessee Valley setting up uh, with uh, some precipitation on the order of three quarters of an inch to some places down in Alabama and Mississippi up to about an inch and a half. What you're seeing up here in and around the Great Lakes, some of that is going to be in the form of snow. And also in the Pacific Northwest, we're seeing uh, endless heavy rain uh, in uh, northwestern Washington with heavy mountain snows. And of course, these breakaway systems continue to move their way on to the east. Just want to give you a look here as far as uh, some of the teleconnections that we often look to to give us some ideas of where we're going. Longer range, uh, we are actually seeing the North Atlantic Oscillation, uh, which is negative right now, uh, go slightly positive uh, around Thursday or so, which sort of explains the warm-up, only to go negative again uh, after that, going into this weekend. And then it starts to go positive, and in some cases even strongly positive, as we move through next week. So that tells us that uh, at least when we get down the road, weather systems, you know, this whole idea of these weather systems moving across from west to east with some speed, there's no real blocking. So uh, that uh, is going to continue and maybe even accelerate a bit as we uh, as we uh, head into next week. And out in the Pacific side, uh, we're seeing the Pacific North America Index, which gives us the idea of whether we have a ridge in the east and a trough in the west or the opposite. Well, uh, at the moment, we're kind of negative here, which favors more of more ridging in the east. So you, you sort of have the PNA, the Pacific North America Index, is pushing the idea of a ridge in the east. 
and the NAO is pushing in the other right, or direction uh, with a trough in the east, and those two kind of cancel each other out, and we're left with what we're left with, which is this you know relatively quick west to east flow. It's ultimately uh, those um, indices are all going to go negative as we uh, head into the first uh, through the first week of December, so that's going to impact uh, the long range. Uh, as well might mean for some stronger systems down the road, but it also will probably mean that um, we're not going to see much in the way of snow because there's nothing really to hold the cold air in. So here's the latest GFS run uh, you, this afternoon. Again, a little bit of light precip showing up here uh, as an ocean disturbance moves out. You see another one uh, moving into uh, western Pennsylvania, eastern Ohio, overnight into Tuesday. A little snow shower activity survives into Pennsylvania and northern New Jersey tomorrow afternoon. Again, doesn't amount to much. Most of you won't see uh, anything. Otherwise, it's clouds with some breaks of sun and temperatures just into the 40s, much like today. Some places not getting out of the 30s. Wednesday, uh, probably see temperatures head up a little bit higher, mid to upper 40s, as a, a bit of a warm front approaches and moves on through Wednesday night with a couple of showers. And then Thursday's our day with a westerly wind. And ahead of the next cold front that will probably see temperatures up reaching into the low and mid-50s, that front looks to come through Thursday night. It looks dry. It'll be windy and chilly uh, to finish off the week on Friday. I think we're going to see another cold front come through here on sat uh, late Saturday, Saturday night, which is why you see some snow being indicated there in parts of upstate New York and rain from the southern New England coast southward. And then early next week, uh, this is where we'll probably have uh, a more – uh, robust uh, uh, energy uh, complex coming out of the southwest uh, with high pressure building up uh, in eastern Canada. So that'll set us up with probably a cold rain and an onshore flow along about Monday, maybe more snow inland. Uh, looks like the, 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 this is going to probably want to track on, up the west side of the Appalachian. So it really is going to be mostly rain except for far northern areas in upstate New York and then eventually the lake effect machine. Uh, gets turned on. So, you know, we're not seeing anything in the longer range that suggests that cold weather is just going to lock in uh, real cold weather. I mean, we've been running a little bit below average uh, for a number of days now. And uh, that's, as we said, is going to continue at least through Wednesday, take a break on Thursday, and then come back Friday and the weekend into Monday of next week. But in terms of anything truly cold and truly arctic in origin we're not seeing that setting up uh, anytime soon weather in five brought to you by omni true value hardware at 1226 north wellwood avenue in west babylon new york 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town omni value.com the website wholesale holiday lighting by giannini your complete holiday lighting specialist meeting all your decorating needs at 162 ocean avenue in lindenhurst new york 631-957-5106 is the phone number and the website is liholidaylighting.com. Okay, so now the bathrobe story. And uh, I'm, if you've been following on Facebook or on Twitter, uh, you probably know I uh, actually went to the emergency room on Saturday. Uh, I've been dealing with all sorts of symptoms that didn't quite make much sense for the last three weeks. And the one that turned out to be the least likely because I had no obvious symptoms of uh, uh, turned out to be uh, the thing that I that that that's been in, impacting me for the better part of the uh, of the month of November and that is I had uh, appendicitis uh, I had absolutely no pain my appendix was at the point that it was uh, probably going to burst any day now so um, thank you for the uh, the nurse who said, you know what, let's do a CAT scan on your belly and see what's going on because your white blood cell count is high. And, but, you know, at the same time when she came back and told me, she said, you know, what's remarkable, you should be bellowed over in pain. And I told her, I said, I have not, no pain at all, nothing, nothing. I had other things going on that led me to believe that maybe it was the flu, maybe it was an ear infection, maybe it was COVID. All those got ruled out very early. Uh, so anyhow, uh, I had surgery yesterday. I'm home today. Uh, it's going to take me a few weeks to recover and get back to 100%, but I'm going to take it a little bit at a time, and I'm going to get uh, you know the weather posting back uh, to normal. 
I missed posting yesterday, and uh, that is actually the first time since I've had the Patreon platform working that I didn't have at least one post up uh, on a day. And uh, you know, I've kind of, I've been on page, I've had this platform here on Patreon now for the better part of the last uh, three plus years. Uh, the um, my website, I have not missed to post. I have not missed posting something. I have posted every single day at least one post for the last almost seven years. So yesterday was the first time I could have posted yesterday afternoon because I needed, I, you know, probably could have given me something to do. Uh, but um, I kind of decided that I really wanted to just rest. So that's what I did. Okay, so <clears throat> you're updated here on Weather in 5. Joe Rayo is on his way to Antarctica, so I'm not going to probably hear from him for a while. Uh, I will be doing a solo show, a short solo show tonight on my YouTube channel at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Okay, so I moved it up, and the chat board there is already open, just to let you know. It's the same chat board that was open over the weekend. I just reopened it now. So head on over there if you want to get involved in the conversation with everybody, and uh, we'll see you tonight at, uh, at 7 o'clock. Have a great day.